Campo started in 1951, as an, I've been told the story because I wasn't there at the time. We started with one product, the uh, cam tray. Our first customer was the American Hospital Supply and they had been uh, asking for a tray that was better than what was currently on the market, which was either metal or paper or paper laminated, none of which were very ideal for hospital uh, patient service because they were either too heavy or weren't cleanable or didn't last or chipped around the edges. Anyway, they just weren't all that good. Came up with the idea, I'm not sure who, uh, that uh, we should uh, try uh, a new material called fiberglass, which was very new in those days. And uh, so uh, my dad, being an entrepreneurial type, asked if he could do it. He said, sure, probably not knowing a thing about it and went about uh, making the first fiberglass cam tray. It was very, created a very rigid tray, a strong tray, and a, a tray that could uh, go through multiple dishwashings, that was cleanable and sanitary, and turned out to be really good for hospital patient service. Well, look at how it's a sort of relatively a uh, simple product, right? I mean, it, but it's it's incredibly unique for the time. How stiff it is, and how well it it balances, and does the job. We are getting better and better and better at putting people's uh, uh, company identity and personalization on products, and that goes uh, beyond trays. But of course, it's it started on trays. And back in those days, people had printed cocktail napkins. Yeah, we'd come back with a whole stack of them. They'd get Bud Chambers, hey, let's run these in these trays and send them back to these, uh, these outfits and see if we could sell them some trays. So that was the big marketing effort of the day. Bring back cocktail napkins, mold them in like a tip tray, and send them back. As the world changes, you have to change with it. If you're just set, I'm just gonna do it you know, we did it this way back in the old days and we're going to continue to do it this way. Well, then you're just going to get left behind. You're going to be a dinosaur. So we've been, I think we've been flexible and, and changed the way we've gone to market. We're still doing that. I personally have a focus on quality. I think the quality should pr be perfect. I have a focus on service. I think the service should be perfect. I have a focus on a safety. I think we should have a, um, the safest workplace we can possibly have. So those are sort of the three uh, foundation rules that I go by. So that's, you know, that's what I think, you know, quality, service, and safety.